So one thing I've noticed in the cybersecurity field is that folks are learning the tools of the trade uh, necessarily before the actual basics. Um, we have a lot more folks doing uh, Burp Suite, Wireshark, uh, anything in the Cali you know, box, as opposed to slapping some keyboards on PowerShell or going into Bash. Um, so while this may be due to the efficiency of like big tech companies or really good programmers, uh, it is creating this knowledge base. I think we can all agree that there's a, a large gap missing. Uh, so to give back to the community and the main reason for this channel, um, I am going to bring us back to the basics because uh, it's one thing to show someone how to do something, but we're going to show you why and how stuff works behind the scenes. Uh, so if we haven't met already, my name's Giovanni, and welcome to Cyber Studies. Okay, so today we're gonna start a series of uh, PowerShell. And PowerShell is really cool because this is one of the more powerful <laughs> uh, scripting languages um, Microsoft came up with, uh, reminiscent of the command prompt days and the you know bash wheel of Linux. Um, it's really cool because Microsoft is really trying to bring the group together, uh, and we'll talk more about aliases and how you know command and commandlets work. But um, PowerShell is basically comprised of two parts. We have the actual command like shell, the command shell, and then the scripting language. So combine those two together with a, a plus plethora of uh, abilities, you know, third-party support along with official support. You have a really powerful piece here. Um, so without staying too long in the, you know, theory of operation, let's get into the uh, actual hands-on keyboard portion, because I think that's the best way we're going to learn. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into some PowerShell. Ready here. Let's see what we got. So today we're going to do some PowerShell. Okay. So... Let's see, let's clear out our stuff here real quick. Let's make this clean. All right, so welcome. <laughs> um, PowerShell is one of my favorite scripting languages um, just because it is so powerful. <laughs> so more or less in PowerShell, um, we have these commands uh, that have things like executables, functions, commandlets, aliases, scripts, what have you. Um, folks confuse or use interchangeably these commands and commandlet um, items. And uh, they are different. It is very important to know so. Um, but the commandlets inside of PowerShell utilize this verb noun syntax. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to dive into a, a couple of the uh, the get commandlets and um, kind of explore some of the basics of what PowerShell is capable. Um, so this is going to be one of many of the uh, PowerShell basics um, just to kind of cover some stuff, you know, kind of you know, hit some of the basics, you know, get back to the fundamentals, and uh, let's get in there. So one thing that a lot of folks who are teaching individuals how to use these scripting languages, for some reason, they always start off with these, like, arbitrary, random uh, commands or commandlets. Um, they'll just throw out some random stuff, like, hey, you know, see what's in there, hit ls, you know, go move this file, mv, you know, copy this and that. Um, I personally like to start off by giving my folks the manual <laughs> uh, or get some help, you know. Um, so the get help commandlet is really useful because while there is a man or a help um, command in PowerShell. This is the, uh, in my opinion, the first step on learning what you're doing, uh, as opposed to just kind of wildly slapping keyboards. Um, so let's get meta here for a second. Let's do a get help on the get help uh, commandlet. <laughs> and so what this does is it kind of gives us a, a nice little overview of what this uh, commandlet does. So case uh, right here is going to say this is our get help. We are going to have some syntax with some uh, um, flags, some uh, functions in here. Um, it would show us things like our aliases, which this one does not have. Um, and then just some basic remarks like, hey, here's some troubleshooting things. Here's some, you know, ways to go about this and that. Here's who to contact. Um, 
a lot of these are pretty standardized through Microsoft. You get into your third party stuff, there might be some more stuff in there. Um, so I mentioned one of these flags. So let's just use this full. And what this will do, uh, just by modifying what we had just done, uh, this is going to give us a little bit more. So we did have the remarks and the aliases, but now you see things like input, outputs, you know, your um, items there. You have some more properties, um, very similar stuff at the top here. Um, so this is one of the more useful commandlets I, I like to use. Uh, you can point some folks to it. Um, but speaking of aliases, this brings us to our next commandlet. So what's really cool about this one, and this is probably one of my more icebreaker-esque uh, commandlets, is um, we all come from different walks of life, right? And um, whether you're a Linux guy or a Windows guy um, or gal, <laughs> you probably don't start off using PowerShell. Uh, just to be honest, you know, if you're going to ping something, almost everyone goes to, you know, command prompt. It's like the, the golden standard for pinging. Um, but you'll notice in here, uh, inside PowerShell, Microsoft was trying to be this like one-stop shop where they're like, hey, you know what? We have folks coming from these different operating systems or our own, and uh, we don't want to make this giant, um, you know, learning curve. So what they did is they created um, kind of these like connectors where you can say like, hey, I want to see what's all in this file uh, or this directory rather. You can do this ls command or this dir command or uh, get child item. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the get alias on the get child item. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this flag in there and then what that will do is it will show us all of the aliases of get child item so if you're like your die hard you know powershell guy i only use powershell and use anything else that's what you're going to get there your gcis whereas i mentioned before your linux folks or your command prompt folks <laughs> um so that's another really useful command that I always like to tell people about. So that way you can kind of see some stuff. Maybe you're on um, Stack Overflow and you see some things you don't recognize. You can kind of decipher it, um, which I mean, we, you know, whatever. Um, another point I want to bring up, and I mentioned earlier in the video, we're kind of doing the get commandlets today. Um, but I want to say the majority, if not all, of the uh, commandlets that are done through PowerShell, they kind of fall under like one of six of these uh, verbs. So you're going to have things like get, you're going to have out, you're going to have your um, start, stop, you're going to have things like set and new. Uh, we'll dive more into those later, but if you notice me doing a lot of gets, we're doing get today. <laughs> um, so into that segue, let us do get command. Um, so I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, uh, folks typically uh, use interchangeably command and commandlets. Um, where command is very, uh, the get command feature is very useful, is that you can get a really good head start on some things that you want to do. Um, so we have, like I said here, here's our commands with commandlets, functions. You're going to have, let me scroll up here so I'm not wasting our time. Um, some things like, uh, there's a lot. aliases, whatnot. Anyways, um, so let's go down here. Let's say you have a general idea of what you're trying to do. Um, if you're familiar with any sort of scripting, you may be familiar with the splat character or uh, wildcards. So let's do get command and then let's throw in some wildcards on let's say uh, network. We want to do something with the network, uh, what have you. So we can do that. And instead of looking that gigantic list of uh, commands. It, it pulls up our functions and then we have a, a one-off uh, application here. Uh, and this is gives us a really good, uh, nice defined list of network related commands, or in this case, uh, you know, functions. Um, so that's kind of a cool little way to leverage that tool. And, and you'll notice these little tricks of the trade as, as these videos go. Um, 
and especially in the second one, we start actually using some more commandlets, more commonly used stuff. Um, you can really move and groove in the uh, the pipeline here. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we'll keep moving, keep this video somewhat short. Uh, lastly, we're gonna do git service. Now, git service is uh, a really useful commandlet, and, and we'll do more with this later on. Um, but the, the brief um, TLDR on this one is just anything that is running or not running on your machine, um, as, and don't get confused with enabled versus disabled, but uh, anything that is you know, starting or have been stopped on your machine uh, will be displayed here. And so, say for example, you have an instance that's running in the background, it's very resource you know, hungry, you can actually stop something and then maybe do a little bit of analysis or something as opposed to disabling it, um, verifying that, you know, it, it is still turned off, what have you. It's a big mess. Anyways, long story short, uh, this is one of the more useful commandlets. Um, so anyways, that's for today. Uh, this was a nice little uh, introduction into the... Uh, the terminal of PowerShell or the shell of PowerShell. Uh, <laughs> so if you found this useful, uh, stay tuned because there's going to be more of them coming up. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what you saw today and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.